Well, it's another day in northern Indiana. That's where I found myself today. And I came across a place that just looks too good not to explore. I did a little research last night and found, uh, looked up a river and it's supposed to be a really good river with a lot of fish. But before I, right when I was on the way to the river, there's this little spot where all these uh, little spillways kind of run together. There's so many different lakes and ponds up here. So let's take a look at some of the water. Uh, there was this water spilling to that one earlier when I went by it, but right now it's off. Got a little pond right there, over, over there. Got some other ponds and ditches. Don't know if any of these have fish in them, but they all connect to the river. And like, there's a little, every little, there's like four different little sections right here. Of course, there's cornfields and farms all the way around. Everything is really flat. It's like we, you'd be out uh, either in like Florida or out on the coast or something. Everything's real flat. So there's lots of ditches and waterways and everything's connecting through here. So uh, hopefully there's some, I don't even know what's in here actually. Hopefully I can catch some fish. Let's go over on the other side of the river. All right, this one, oh, this one's got flowing water. This is a little creek that is gonna run down into the river. There's a fish, there we go. We got, we got a fish. Oh, a little largemouth. All right, first catch today, right on the side of a, man, this intersection is busy through here. Little largemouth bass, right under that spillway area. Well, I ain't getting nothing else now. They're bison, haven't seen nothing else out of this little hole, although it, you'd think it'd be loaded with stuff right there. those dude there's these tiny little fish a whole school of i have no idea what they are they look don't look like anything i've seen before what are those things they're little bitty black fish if i had a net over there i could scoop them up oh they look like tiny little catfish i think they are actually I, that is crazy i've never seen anything like that Maybe they're, I don't know, they could be anything, I guess. Uh, let's see if we can get a close up. Uh, it's not a great view. Maybe you can tell what those are. I've never seen a little school of fish like that. They're tiny little, like really black looking. They look like little catfish or something. Well, I'm not getting any bites out of here. I definitely, there's all these little bitty baby fish and this might be little, one of those areas that dries up. What is going on over there? Dries up or something. Uh, I don't really know much about it. Found a little spot. There's all kinds of little public spots around here. And hopefully I'm gonna cast around and find me a few fish. Oh, this looks really good. Oh, perfect. Got a little spillway coming through. Oh, I see bluegill or something down there. Okay, we see some fish this time. All right, a little trout magnet. Let's see if we can hook something. I see him nibbling at it. Oh, it's a little smaller. Got, I got him. 
I think it's a little bass. It is a little small mouth. Ah! And back in he went. That was fast. Oh, there's another fish. Oh, large mouth. <laughs> and off he went. A little small mouth, a little large mouth. I can't get a bluegill to bite. They're like nip, nipping at it and won't hold on to it. Oh, yeah. I saw him come eat it. What is that? Oh, that's a nice bluegill. That's a nice bluegill. Look how round that guy is. Hey, that's pretty. It's like a perfect bluegill right there. All right, one more cast and then we're gonna go for some bigger fish. There we go. And there's our little bluegill. There's a whole bunch of them down there. There's a lot of bass, a lot of little bass. This means there's probably a lot of big bass. So we're gonna throw around some bigger lures, kind of explore this area a little bit. Fish, fish. On the top water. On the buzz bait. It's a smallmouth. Sweet. Oh, dude, that's a nice one, too. <laughs> oh, man. Man, these places. Just throwing that little buzz bait around. Nice, smally. Good 12 inch solid fish right there. All right, don't splash me. Nice. Dude, this is such a unusual place to catch smallmouth, I would think. It's like sandy. It's just, it's just weird. I would not have thought I'd be catching like smallmouth out of here. Totally different kind of fishing than what I'm used to, but all these little rivers and channels, those little, little spring coming in or a little creek or something coming in over there, a little water flow coming in over here. I don't know where it's probably all draining into the river, but all throughout here, there's just all these different waterways. So let's go, let's go drive a little more. I think we'll go see if we can find some more places to explore. I'm just looking for any kind of little deeper holes or spots to pull off and make a few casts. Like this right here. No telling what's living in these areas. I, I can't tell if it's going to be, you know, if there's fish in them or nothing in them. All oh, right, I made it down to the, over to the other, this is the bigger river that I really wanted to try fish today. I don't know how much I'm going to really fish it. Oh, that looks like a cool area to fish off of right there. It's a drop off right there, it's pretty deep. So this is a good, it's good flowing, steady flowing river. Oh, oh, yeah, there's a little break right there. I need to get a cast over that, that break over there. I don't know if I can get over there. That should be a fish. Ah, oh, close. Yes! Oh, what is it? Holy cow. It might be a pike. It's a big fish. Oh, that's what I was looking for. Oh my goodness. Is it a bass? He exploded on it. Oh, it's a big bass. Or it's not a huge, but it's a good one. Just in the current. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Holy cow. That's a nice bass. Oh my goodness. Oh man, that's a nice bass. Dude, they were right. I did a little research last night about this river. It says really good for smallmouth. Oh my, that is a pretty fish. 
and it's supposed to be good for pike. Ooh, what a fish! That's at least a two pounder. Big old thick smallmouth. <laughs> Man, I think hit on it. Such a cool hit. Dude, I really want to get my kayak in this river. I got enough time, but the current is so strong. I'm gonna start working my way home. I'm not gonna get there tonight, I know. I'm gonna stop somewhere. But as I work that way, I'm also gonna keep a lookout for another place to fish. I spent an hour on the river. The current and the wind was really bothering me. I didn't get a bite though, I didn't even see anything. It's crazy, I caught two good fish off the bank and then I fished the river and can't get a thing out of my kayak. 576 miles to home. So let's start making a dent unless we see something interesting along the way to stop and fish it. Oh, I got a fish. I got I got a fish. I stopped at a just another random spot. Oh wow, nice little largemouth. <laughs> Dude, check out where I'm at. Hold on, let me get out here take a view. Nothing but fields around. Look at these ditches that go on forever. Wind is whipping through here. Farmland. Dude, that is a chunky largemouth. That is so cool. Look how fat and thick it is. I'm just looking for, I, I've been seeing these ditches everywhere I go, but I, I looked over here and saw this one. It looked like it might be a little deeper. I couldn't tell. Well, this wind is ridiculous. It's probably making a lot of audio problems. I can't believe how like chunky that thing is. I got another bite. I got another bite. Another one. I got another one. No way. Back to back catches. Oh my. <laughs> oh, look at these large mouth. I guess it's a little bit deeper than I thought over there. It must be uh, maybe three feet deep over there on the side. There. That's awesome. Go back over there. Okay. Wind. Uh oh, uh oh. There's another one. There's another one. Three in a row. Three. I, I, don't, I didn't bring my phone over here. I left it in the truck. Can't even get a snap a quick picture. Three large mouth in a row. These things are so thick and healthy. How many fish are over there? Oh, something hit it. Something hit it. There's one. There's another one. He's a littler one. Four largemouth. Just this little ditch. Well, it's a lot of water. You could, there's a million places to stop, but I'm just 
looking for anything that's got a little bit of structure, a little bit of something to hold it up. That I've just kind of been driving by this ditch. I mean, there's nothing but ditches. They're every, I mean, it's everywhere here. And I just, I looked over and saw this one that as I was coming to a stop sign, it looked a little different. So that's why I'm fishing it. Well, I can't really fish this trout magnet. I'd like to see if there's any bluegill or something in there. I can't really work it, it's just blowing, blowing away. Let's get back on the road. Maybe we'll come across another spot that looks good. Looking for a couple more ditches to fish. There's a go turtles crossing the road and he just stopped right when I pulled up. Don't stop in the middle of the road. There's the logs in the road down there too. Well, that turtle, that's not, I wonder, is that a, it's a regular snapping turtle? Pretty good size. Better get out of the road. Last place. Hopefully. I saw some water over here. And we gotta check it out. And it's so windy. It's not a lot of water over there. I mean, it's long, it's not real deep looking. Well, I gotta end this video out. And it's a different one, but I, I like to say fish anywhere, fish everywhere. Um, I'm hoping to come up with some t-shirts that better to say that. Some of them have it on my, some t-shirts have it on it. This hoodie, it's about hoodie time. If you need to get a hoodie, got them on Teespring. But uh, yeah, it got cool up here, but fish anywhere, fish everywhere. Like there's fish almost anywhere you can think of and it's worth trying to fish anywhere you can go. Uh, in little ditches, no, I didn't catch any out of this last ditch here. So I didn't get anything out of here. Uh, but that one, three stops earlier, uh, caught like four bass out of it, it was crazy. Then I stopped at the river, caught a couple of good smallmouth, went kayak and didn't catch anything. So you never know where you're gonna catch fish. That's why I love to explore and just get out there and look around. and. As you can see, I'm out here exploring out in the middle of uh, Indiana farmland. It's going down a little side road. But I'm about to get in the truck and really start heading south. I need to be back in Tennessee tomorrow to fish with more people. Of course, so I'm going to try to keep this thing going and I try to get to the little places when I can. This was a real quick trip that I wanted to do. Yesterday, I caught some pike. And um, today, I just plan to fish a little bit and kind of head home, just explore. And I had a headache, got started a little late. But still was able to get out there and do some exploring, have some fun. If you live up in the North Indiana area, you have so much water up here. Uh, just all kinds of little ditches and ponds and rivers. And it's it's totally different though. It's way different than around me. It's all flat. And I'll, I'm around where I'm at in Tennessee, it's all hills. So it's just, it's cool to get somewhere new and try it out. Even if, even if though I only had a little bit of time to do it. If you, anytime you got any chance to get out there and explore somewhere, take a fishing pole, just find some water start casting in as long as it's uh you're okay to cast in there you never know what you're gonna catch thanks for watching man let's see if the sunset shows up this uh doesn't look near as good on camera but this sunset is crazy it's a lot nicer to have sunsets in flat land i guess than most of the time it gets blocked off by the hills around me, but that is just so awesome.